What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Themes and in today's video we're gonna learn how to create this page sections into our footer section of our WordPress websites, okay? So right here we have the visualmodel.com footer section, okay? This is the end of the site, this is a global section that appears in all of the pages of the Visual Model. So if you go to the template library for example, and go to the end of the page, you can see this footer right here. And we have four columns, and each column have a title and some pages, okay? For example, in the company, we have the about, the customers, the policy privacy, and the terms and conditions. Same for the editorial, we have the blog, the write for us, the editorial, and the WordPress, okay? How to create this on your website? In a simple, fast, effective, and free method. First of all, please, Take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us and motivates us because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, themes, and many, many, many more topics, okay? So, after this made, let's go to our WordPress dashboard. I like to start all my videos in the WordPress dashboard because it brings equal for everyone. Once on dashboard, let me apply some zoom. Once on dashboard, go to the place where we're gonna assemble the menu okay and where is this place the appearance menus okay so into the left side of your website dashboard appearance menus right here you probably already have made some menus if you don't like how to create menus go to the youtube search for visual model menus and you're gonna learn from one of our other tutorials okay but right here we have a button, create a new menu. Click on it. I'm gonna apply this menu a name, okay? So, menu structure, name. Footer 2. Gonna be our menu name. And we need to create menu. After the menu created, we can see all of our previously made menus right here into this list but we're gonna need to apply pages to this menu, okay? So, as you can notice, if you go to the visual mode or footer menu, all of these sections right here are a menu created and populated with pages, okay? So the products menu have this four pages. The editorial menu have this other four pages. On our example website, into the latest video, we did create this menu containing the terms, the dashboard, the account, and the privacy, okay? Let's create another menu with four pages, so we can combine. And into this menu, let's see what else we can apply, maybe something about the company. So we're gonna add the about page, the blog page, the contact page, and let me check more pages. The portfolio page okay this menu is gonna be named as our company menu let's start with the about page after the page is placed into this menu we're gonna click into the save menu we already have the menu now we're gonna need to add this menu to our footer section and how to do this once you are already right here into the appearance we're gonna move to widgets okay under appearance once again, into the left side of our screen. This panel is gonna load, okay? What you see right here may change according to the team that you are using, but you will see the footer columns according to the team that you are using. Into the first footer, we have the navigation menu element that is adding this menu. Now, what else we, what are we gonna do? Into the second footer, I'm gonna click into add block I'm gonna search for menu. I'm gonna use this element right here, the navigation menu. And from this menu, I'm gonna call the footer to click on update button. Let's review. And here is our second menu. We can apply some title to this menu, okay? So this menu is going to be called company and this other menu is going to be called 
user. Let me update it. And here we have the user and the company. Once this menu, uh, once this footer section is set to have four columns into the team options, once again, it may change according to the team that you are using. However, if you are using a visual model team, you have the team options, a place where you can change the amount of columns you want for your footer section. And into this case, we are set to have four columns, just like the visual model. All we have to do is create two other menus into WordPress dashboard, appearance, menus, create new, and apply this on the widget section, okay? Let's check another way to apply this widget into our menus. Still on appearance, into the left side of your WordPress dashboard, click on customize, okay? This is gonna take a moment to load because it's gonna load the website front end, okay? The front view of your site, not the dashboard. Here we go. Let's just scroll the page down until the end so we can check the footer. And right here, we're gonna scroll this left side screen until you can find this option right here, widgets. The amount of menus you see right here, the amount of items you see into this left screen may change according to the theme that you are using, but the widgets gonna be equal for everyone. Click on widgets, and here you have the widgets tab. Here is our first footer and second footer. Here is the third footer, there's gonna be a column right here. Click on plus. Let's search for menu, navigation menu, let's apply another menu right here, this menu is going to be called blog, this is just an example, I'm going to create a new one, and the very last menu, let me go back and go to the fourth footer and do the same process, okay? So, search for menu, use the widget called navigation menu, call some menus, apply some title, in this case maybe shop or store. And the most important part, click on publish button, this blue button, in order to save. Let's see the final result. And here is our menu, okay? And that is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the Visual Moto Borderless WordPress plugin, okay? It's our free plugin that gives you widgets, elements, templates, and tools and even pre-built websites that you can import with a single click, okay? Let me show you this plugin working into the WordPress dashboard. Right here, we have the borders as soon as we install the plugin, and you have all of the options to work with this plugin. To install it on your site, all you have to do is go to our WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new and search for borders. You're gonna have a lot of tools for free. In addition, in the case that there are needs of a free WordPress team in order to create your site, design it or build your landing page up, go to our WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes and download and install searching for Enzu, okay? Click on add new and search for Enzo. It's completely free and gonna give you features that not even premium teams offer, okay? All for free. Moreover, in the case that you can invest and would like to count off our on our full support, extra features, 
almost unlimited sections, pre-built websites and pages that you can import with a single click, go to visualmoto.com and go to for the Visual Moto Pass so you can go premium, okay? In order to have extra features and our complete support. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best.